I think it's pretty safe to say that by far one of the big exciting aspects of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has all to do with Rey's lineage and her parentage and exactly how that's going to be utilized in this story by Disney and Lucasfilm and exactly how it's really all going to blossom in this film and how it's really going to resonate with Star Wars fans around the world once it drops come this December of 2019. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that yes, we do know that during the rewrites of this film for November and December of 2018, just late last year, is that a lot of changes and shifts were made for the character of Rey, her parentage, her father and mother, etc., her family overall, and exactly how that would be organized in the movie from start to finish of the plot of this film. And that's the big very important moment by Disney and Lucasfilm that they really have to get right, which is of course everything related to Rey's identity and exactly how that's going to be revealed in this film. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very intriguing about Rey's father. Now specifically, it's described that a description of Rey traveling on her speeder toward a large structure that is said to be built into a large canyon, where Rey is described to be heading toward a place that once belonged to her father many years ago. It's explained that eventually Rey makes her way inside of the structure, where she is able to find her way downstairs that is the location of her father's hideout from years ago, that contains many secrets. It's described that one of the sequences involves Rey discovering a hologram of her father, where he refers to himself as a different name other than his real identity, where he goes by the name of Ajunta Pavan. It's described to be his alias that he used when he was in hiding from the remnants of the Empire and the First Order before he went searching for the beyond and the world that contains many species with the ability to become new Jedi. It's explained that him going by the name of Ajunta Pavan are actually based on two Star Wars Legends characters that Rey's fathers used as an alias to hide his real identity in his younger years and after Palpatine's death. It's explained that Rey begins to go through all of his relics and artifacts that also once belonged to the ancient Jedi and Sith, where one of the relics is described to be a device that holds a hidden hyperspace route to the unknown regions. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that Episode 9 is going to be a very important film to Disney and Lucasfilm, as well as to the Star Wars community. This movie really is going to be a film at the end of the day that's going to answer many different questions that the fans have been asking about for, you know, a very long time. A lot of fans want closure on certain questions that were left unanswered in Episode 8, and that's exactly what we will be getting in Episode 9, which, of course, a big part of all of that has everything to do with Ray and her parentage. Now, Ray's father specifically, very mysterious character. We do know that he's going to have quite a significant piece in the second act of episode nine, where a lot of his story is going to be told either by, of course, you know, Ray's journey or other characters into the mix as well. And what I love so much about this is that, well, at the end of the day, we really know little to nothing about Rey's parents and her family in general, and that's exactly what The Rise of Skywalker will be for. Even J.J. Abrams actually confirmed over at Star Wars Celebration that there's a lot more to the story to tell about Rey's parents and even about Rey's identity and everything related to her character, and I think that's really going to be by far the driving force for the hype of this movie, not just her, but also Palpatine and his role in Episode 9. So him going by the name of Ajunta Pavan are based on two Star Wars Legends characters and very familiar characters at that if you guys are hardcore fans. And what I love so much about that is that this is a nice callback and or a, an homage to, of course, Pavan and Ajunta. And combining those two names and using it to create a new identity in the form of an alias for Rey's father that he used during his time in hiding from the Empire and the infancy of the First Order, I think is honestly pretty clever. I like what J.J. Abrams is, you know, doing here with this movie, how there's a lot of Star Wars Legends Easter eggs and a lot of callbacks and homages here and there 
to really satisfy a lot of fans around the world and to just really make it feel like an authentic Star Wars film. So this film is actually said to involve many different revelations, not just related to Rey and her parents, but also, you know, to other characters like Palpatine, Luke, you name it. And even, you know, Yunus Watamo, the man who portrays Chewbacca, even said that this entire movie is going to be I did not see this coming moment. That's a big, bold statement in my opinion. And I think that the fact that he said that this movie is really going to have a lot of, you know, answers to those big questions that we have been asking about for years on end by J.J. Abrams. So with that being said, guys, you know, if you think about it this way, you know, Ray's father, the fact that he is going to have a nice backstory in this movie and will have a full explanation as to exactly what he went through and what he called himself as throughout the ages, I think is very fascinating. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.